good morning students today we are going to discuss the derivations of equations of motion by using graph by graphical method in our syllabus we have derivation by graphical method only so what are equations equations of motion are the mathematical formulas that describe the position velocity or acceleration of a body in uniform accelerated motion with respect to time so we will be uh, going to uh, derive these three equations first equation v is final velocity u is initial velocity a is acceleration t is time suppose an object is moving and it is starting from initial velocity means when we start considering the motion of body at that time it was already having this velocity for t time it moves with the a acceleration then what will be the final velocity so by using these uh, this equation if we are given these three quantities we can find the fourth one or any of the three quantities have been given we can find the fourth one in the same way second equation s s for distance or we can say position initial velocity time acceleration time so this equation relate position time uh, initial velocity and acceleration in the same way one thing is given and we can find the other things Sec uh, third equation that is v square that is final velocity square minus initial velocity square is equal to 2a a means acceleration s means distance so in all the three equations first of all we will derive these and then we will use these equations in the formulas out of uh, equation if one quantity is unknown and other quantities have been given to us in the numerical we can find that unknown quantity so for that we will derive a uh, graph for uniformly accelerated motion so first question is in your exam there can be derivation as a question you have to derive the derivations again and again you have to learn this properly or there can be numericals based on these derivations so the first question is derive first equation of motion by graphical method or this question can be like this that derive velocity time equation or question can be asked to prove uh, this is final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration into time so any of the question in the exam comes then you have to derive it like this so first is consider velocity time graph for uniformly accelerated motion of an object with uh, when object do not start from rest so if object do not start from rest it means its initial velocity is not equal to zero means uh, object is moving already moving when we start considering the object there at that time the object was having some velocity so for that this is the graph and uh, this side we have taken velocity this is time and this graph is uh, giving us the uniformly accelerated motion when we we will uh, read this graph then with respect to this point corresponding with this point this is the initial velocity at time zero if we will consider any of the point like here uh, corresponding to this point this is time and this is velocity for this point this is time this is velocity and so on so let us complete this graph and we will uh, derive some more things if i put a perpendicular from this point here and this point on time axis and this point from this point on velocity axis we put these perpendiculars 
so from zero to u this is initial velocity as this is equal to this so from this point to this point this is also u so we will mark here as u this is giving us the initial velocity let us mark uh, some values a b of this graph and let this is c this this point is d and this point is a you can take any of the uh, values but i am taking same notations because uh, these notations have been given in your ncrt book okay now this is u and as this is u from zero means object was at rest and when he started moving and finally we are considering it at this point so when we match this point on velocity axis we are getting this velocity corresponding to this so what is this this is final velocity as this is equal to this therefore this is giving us the final velocity oa uh, we'll write here oa is equal to cd is equal to u that is initial velocity in the same way oe is equal to cb cb is equal to final velocity then in the same way ad is equal to oc ad is equal to oc is equal to time from this to this it is time okay now just see that in this graph this was initial velocity and this is final velocity as this is equal to this quantity means a e is equal to db is equal to what is this this is u this whole is v so this will be the difference that is v minus u means from this point to this point or we can say this point to this point this is change in velocity so for deriving first equation we will use the concept that acceleration is equal to change in velocity divided by time taken so change in velocity is that is v minus u or uh, simply first of all we will write db and for this change for this change how much time have been taken that is oc so what is value of db that is v minus u and what is value of oc that is t we will uh, we will write t so acceleration is equal to v minus u by t we will do uh, cross uh, multiply so at is equal to v minus u or we can rewrite it as v is equal to u plus at so hence we have derived first equation of motion okay beta in the same way we are going to derive second equation of motion by graphical method uh, in exam there can be the question that derive second equation of motion by graphical method or this question can be asked as derive position time relation this is position and this is time so it uh, if uh, in exam position time relation is given then it's understood that examiner is asking about second equation of motion or it can be like this that to prove s is equal to ut plus half a t square for uh, proving this equation we will derive the uh, this uh, graph as we have done in uh, last uh, uh, derivation in the same way same notations i have taken by using this now in first equation of motion we used the fact that acceleration is equal to uh, 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 that uh, change in velocity divided by time 
now in this second equation we are going to take consider the concept that let an object traveled a distance s in time t so s is equal to area under ab means this is the graph ab is the graph which is telling about the uniformly accelerated motion and under this graph is giving us the distance traveled by the object as we discussed in last videos also that in velocity time graph area under the graph is giving us the distance traveled so this area means under ab we can divide it into two parts it can be considered as like this uh, is the sum of this triangle abd as this re rectangle this so we will find the area of this triangle and this rectangle and then we will add up it so we will find the total area below ab so we will write area under ab area of triangle o uh, o a b c total area o a b c it can be bifurcated as the area of triangle a b d and the area of rectangle o a d c now area of triangle formula of area of triangle half into base into height or in uh, case of uh, rectangle the formula of area that is length into breadth so we will write these things half into base is ad into height is bd plus in case of uh, rectangle it is oc into oa we will put the values s is equal to after this we are going to write here so s is equal to half ad ad what is this this equal to oc that is equal to t and bd bd that is change in velocity that is v minus u as we discussed in first equation of motion oc oc is this t and oa oa is u so we will write these values now first of all we have to derive this equation and we find this equation till now okay let us see uh, what thing we got s s then ut we have to find and ut we are having now half half a we want a but in this equation a is not there so it means we have to bring a so, uh, from somewhere and we want to uh, finish this v minus u from this equation t we require and t we are having no doubt square so uh, for this we will manage like that that we want to remove this v minus u and we want a into t so we will use first equation of motion substitute value of v minus u what was first equation of motion recall it v minus u is equal to at so v minus u we will uh, in place of v minus u we will place at so we get s is equal to at uh, half into t into v minus u is equal to at plus we will uh, rearrange it u into t so it is ut so s is equal to half a and t into t t square plus ut and if we will rearrange it s is equal to ut plus half a t square hence second equation is proved now in the same way we can derive third equation of motion question can be derive third equation of motion by graphical method or derive position velocity relationship this is position uh, this s s is position and velocity is this initial velo uh, initial velocity and final velocity so for this we will derive it uh, in the same way first of all we will make a graph 
uh, as we have done in first equation the same notations we have given and we will write we can also find the distance traveled by object in time t by in the same way as we have done in second in second just uh, the, the area under ab we have bifurcated it into two parts that is area of this triangle and area of this rectangle but in this equation uh, for deriving this equation we will take area under ab as the area of trapezium so we got this trapezium o a b c this is a trapezium uh, by the definition of trapezium it have two opposite uh, parallel sides are um, these are parallel and other sides are not parallel to each other okay so in this trapezium these are the parallel sides and this is this oc is acting as a height of this trapezium don't confuse with height word that height will be bc height of trapezium will be oc because height is that side which is joining these two parallel sides so this is the height of trapezium and this and these are the parallel sides so by using the formula area of trapezium that is half into sum of parallel sides multiply height of the trapezium so half sum of parallel sides parallel sides are oa and cb multiply height height is the perpendicular line joining these parallel sides so it is oc so half oa oa is u that is initial velocity then cb cb is v that is final velocity and oc is equal to t we got this now in this let us compare this equation with the required equation so we want s and we are having s in this equation we want v and u but in the form of these squares but we are not having and in this equation in required equation we don't want t time and here we are having time so we will substitute the value of t from first equation of motion first equation of motion is v equal to u plus at so we will rearrange this equation v minus u is equal to at so t is equal to v minus u and divided by a so we will use this value of t in this equation so s is equal to half half u plus v u plus v t t is equal to v minus u by a from here we have taken this so s is equal to we will rearrange this v u plus v can be written as v plus u and multiply v minus u divided by 2a now you can see this formula this is formula of a plus b b minus a so we will uh, apply the identity of mathematics it will be 2as uh, this 2a will go, go on this side so it will be 2as and it will be v square minus u square and by rearranging v square minus u square is equal to 2as hence third equation is also proved so beta just uh, watch the videos understand the uh, these derivations and write the derivations yourself again and again in rough notebook for practice and once these derivation from your ncert book you have to write in your fair notebooks also so you will write at least 3 times these equations yourself then you will be able to remember these derivations these are important for exams